Hello everyone, this is Running on Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, and everyone watching, this is Running on Empty Food Review. I am your host, the Report of the Week. So Wendy's is making a few changes to their menu in early 2019, and I think every place does this, where they'll change it around a little bit, they'll add a few items, take a few off, reorganize things, and that's exactly what Wendy's is doing today. Wendy's made a few changes, especially in regards to their burger lineup. Uh, specifically, they added three new burgers. And it was, to make the analogy to say that it was like Russian roulette, is, that, that's going too far. But it was, uh, it, was, it was one of them that immediately called out to me, and then two of them were kind of iffy. Obviously, as the title says, one of these releases is the barbecue cheeseburger. Because honestly, if there is one of these three burgers that I was going to get, I knew it was going to be that barbecue cheeseburger. Because I, I was like trying the barbecue ones out. But otherwise, I have like a mushroom and Swiss burger, which I could get. You know, McDonald's was doing that back in December. I guess that's that's the uh, the latest craze of the fast food world. And then they have their, their all-knowing, all omnipotent, uh, masterful Schrossum Schoss burger. Uh, that they also are premiering. I think they slapped some bacon on that one. But I was thinking, I was looking at the three of them, and I was thinking, you know, even though people might really be focusing on the schloss and sauce one, not so much the mushroom one, I thought I really want to just try out that uh, barbecue cheeseburger, because again, like I said, as a, as a general consumer, that's what called out to me, and uh, that's what I want to try out today. So on it, it's a pretty basic burger, but it sounds like it might be interesting. It's got a quarter pound beef patty, uh, crispy fried onions, like, you know, the onion strings, uh, American cheese, sweet and smoky barbecue sauce, and pickles. Now, the burger, you can get it by itself. You can get it as a bit of a meal deal. Uh, the price for this one, I believe, pretty sure it was $5.50, if I'm not mistaken. I got the receipt right here. Let me make sure. Pretty sure it was five fifty for the burger. Yep, five dollars and fifty cents on the money. So uh, you know, a little pricey, but if it's a premium sandwich and it tastes really good, then you know maybe we will be getting what we paid for. Uh, so we'll just have to see there. All right, before we get into the review, just a few little announcements I want to make. Number one, I want to thank a few people uh, that help support this channel and the radio show podcast on Patreon. I just want to give a quick shout out to Kathy Foster, the Trees Network, Thomas Forbes, and uh, an individual who goes by the name David James Jacob Lindsay. Uh, the four of them just do a great deal to help keep everything going. If you want to do your part to help out, consider supporting at patreon.com slash the report of the week. Uh, likewise, now, some of you will know this word for word, right? All right, he's going to go on about the SoundCloud, right? Get, get ready, brace yourselves. But this is going to throw you off. You're, you will not be able to comprehend this. Uh, your mind will not be able to process it, let alone digest it physically and mentally, because that's not what I'm promoting. As a matter of fact, I did a lot of work over this last week my radio show, it still will be going out on shortwave. You know, I discontinued one broadcast, but it still goes out every Thursday, Friday, Sunday. You know, they have the broadcast going there. But I made a huge effort to also make it into a podcast. And I added it to a lot of podcasting sites. Uh, you could find it also on YouTube. YouTube.com slash V-O-R-W podcast. You could also simply find it on iTunes, Spotify, Tune in Google Play, Stitcher, uh, just by searching V O R W. Those four letters, it'll come up. If you want to be in more detail, though, V O R W podcast. It's a talk program, but it covers a lot of good stuff. Really recommend you check it out. Uh, we've got all these new links, even a paste bin file on how to how to tune in. All that in the description. Uh, we're gonna maybe even try to squeeze a few in in the cards if that's possible but in the description in the pinned comments and we're just going to make sure that you know how to tune in effortlessly and easily with that said now as the metaphorical expression goes on to the wendy's barbecue cheeseburger of things uh let's go and try this out 
This was made fresh. Got an extra receipt there. If you were wondering whether that was a motorcycle, a loud car, it wasn't. As a matter of fact, that was the burger making that noise. There's a bird on the uh, on the windshield. Hello, bird. It's part of my security detail. And uh, here's the bird digger. That kind of rhymes with bird. And you can see, you know, it looks as described. I mean, you know, it's n not necessarily a no frills burger, but you know, it's very basic. I think that's the best way to put it. Uh, you can see there's the pickles. You can see the barbecue sauce right there on the bun. Uh, likewise, we have the bottom bun, the onion strings, uh, the burger patty, and cheese. So, you know, like I said, it's a very basic burger. There we go. And again, just to get that real close-up shot, you know, you can see it's a uh, freshly made burger. Two slices of cheese there, one on top, one on the bottom. Good amount of sauce, uh, but again, like, like we said, very basic burger. I'm going to try it out for you. I'll let you know uh, what it tastes like. That's all that I have. So it is the barbecue cheeseburger from Wendy's going in. And uh, yeah, there's a, uh, if only you could see, there's this, uh, I don't know if it's a crow or if it's a grackle or a blackbird. I don't know what it's doing. If it's cleaning itself or going to the bathroom, I don't know what. We'll just say that it's just guarding, you know. It, it really cares about this burger, and it just wants to make sure, you know, that, that nothing nothing gets in the way of this review. So anyway, barbecue uh, cheeseburger from Wendy's going in. Had to let him know. I'm going to take two more bites. talking trash about my suit. It's not that bad. You know, I gotta say, I was impressed by the burger. Sometimes when a sandwich is really good, you know, you don't really have the most to say about it because you're just satisfied with it. And this is one of those burgers. Uh, the beef patty wasn't overwhelming. It was tender, it was juicy, very flavorful, tasted good, yeah, no complaints there. That, that sauce, they put a good amount of the barbecue sauce on it. I would say that it's more on the sweet side than anything else but it really just blends in good. There's a good amount of it. And then those pickles that they added on it really just give a good amount of tanginess to it. So that's where it, it just all blends together well, if you ask me. Like there's some sandwiches where, you know, you could pick out ingredient by ingredient and you can say, right, well, this really stands out. And, this and, and then there's others where everything just kind of goes in as just this melodious mixture. This is one of those sandwiches where everything just comes together well. And, uh, you know, it's, I think they really did a good job on this. All the ingredients tie together just into one good, uh, just overall good final product. The cheese, despite there being the two slices of it, isn't overwhelming. As I said, it just blends together good, tastes good, and those fried onion strings does add this little bit of crunch where it's just, it's detectable, it tastes good, it adds a little bit of texture to it, uh, but it's not overwhelming at all. 
Now, I would say the price for this at around $5.50 is a little bit expensive just for a burger. But I'm not going to complain this time around because, you know, I'm satisfied with it. Like I said, if you like these barbecue burgers, you know, whatever they call them, rodeo burgers, barbecue burgers, bar you, you know, I think you'll like this one because Wendy's, I think the sauce just is great ties it together, and uh, they just did a good job with this one. So out of 10, I'm going to give it a 9.0 out of 10. I'm just satisfied with it overall. I think they did a good job with it. And that's all that I have for you. So thank you for tuning in. I'm your host to the Report of the Week, and today we tried out the barbecue cheeseburger from Wendy's. And again, coming up this Thursday, make sure you check out my new podcast. It's on so many avenues at this point. I uh, really hope you could just check it out. Again, VORW Podcast on YouTube. You can find it on those major sites like iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, TuneIn, and even Shortwave that's still going to. Thank you for watching and take care.